Having achieved democracy just over 10 years ago, Myanmar is on the brink of seeing its hard-fought value disappear. Its military has once again seized control of the country, and an apparent coup detained some 24 major leaders, including the famous Aung San Suu Kyi. World leaders have condemned the latest move, and the UN Security Council will discuss the latest developments in a closed meeting on Tuesday. Our Pei Lunzi has more details. The UK has summoned Myanmar's ambassador to discuss London's concerns over the military coup. Prime Minister Boris Johnson had earlier condemned Myanmar's military leaders, saying the vote of the citizens must be respected and civilian leaders should be released. The United Nations Security Council will also discuss the situation at an emergency meeting on Tuesday, calling the coup, quote, a serious blow to the democratic reforms. The UN spokesman said he fears the situation will get worse for Rohingyas, an ethnic Muslim minority group in Myanmar. There are about 600,000 Rohingyas that remain in Rakhine State, including 120,000 people who are you know, effectively uh, confined to, to camps. They cannot move freely and have extremely limited access to basic health and educational services. So our fear is that the events may make the situation worse for them. The UN's top human rights official said in a statement that she is gravely concerned about the situation and that there are deep fears of a violent crackdown on dissenting voices. She also urged the military to refrain from using unnecessary or excessive force. The Nobel Committee also said in a statement that it is, quote, appalled by the military coup in Myanmar. It added that Aung San Suu Kyi was handed the Nobel Peace Prize in 1991 in recognition of her brave struggle for democracy in Myanmar. The committee asked for the immediate release of Suu Kyi and other arrested politicians. But despite concerns, the military announced that 24 ministers and deputies have been removed and 11 replacements have been named, including those for finance, health and foreign affairs. It has shut down all passenger flights in the country as well. Pei Eun-ji, Arirang News.